get going, I just wanted to tell you that uh, it, it, there's a point, I think it's on the back of the bulletin, where it says, uh, individual blessings, there'll be a general blessing of all the animals, and then individual blessings where you can bring each animal up, and I'll lay hands on them and bless them, and uh, as it says here, the animals present may escort their people to the altar, <laughs> and uh if you if you happen to have uh, if your if your animal has sent you on ahead uh, without them uh, because they didn't quite exactly want to come to this uh, but you want them blessed if you know if you've got a picture of them on your cell phone uh, photograph anything like that will bless them through that so uh, so as you come up just give me their name and I'll bless each one let's start off though with uh, that great Anglican song of blessing for the animals, and some of you are uh, PBS watchers remember that series about the veterinarian, you know, all things bright and beautiful. Well, all the titles for that came from this song, and so you have it right there at the, uh, I might need help, okay. keeping that from blowing away. Yeah. Um, so, yep. whoops. Okay. Please, 
bless animals to make them holy. We bless them because they are holy and worthy of blessing. St. Francis believed that all nature reflected God, that you could see the beauty of God in all creation. He called the sun, moon, wind, and the earth his brothers and sisters. He loved all creatures, great and small, and treated them like family, just as we do our own pets. And that is why we bring our brother and sister animals here today. Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for making the animals to brighten our lives. Help us to save them from danger as Noah did. Help us to love and them and care for them as Francis did. And when we see the animals that you have made, help us to remember that you are holy and worthy of praise. In the name of the Father, who thought up the giraffe and the zebra, and the son who was named after the beautiful white lamb, and of the Holy Spirit who came to us as a dove. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm, and every singing bird of every kind, and God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all of the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Let us do the song of creation, and uh, let's see, I guess we'll do it by the, you take all the parts that are italicized, and I'll do the uh, parts that are not. So, let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise, Praise him and highly exalt him forever. If you would like, you could uh, put a hand upon your animals, or they could put paws on you if they're up to it. <laughs> and let's pray. O God, you have done all things wisely. 
In your goodness you have made us in your image and given us care over all living things. In your compassion and love bless these animals, that in our homes they may be signs of the creation of which with them we are a part. From their playfulness let us learn your joy in all that you have made. From their dependence upon us teach us confidence and trust in you. And from their responsiveness let us be inspired to love you. And all this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you want to bring them forward and uh, just give me their names as you come up? Let me or, do that for you. Okay. Okay. Would it be easier if I came around to everybody? Yes. Yes. All right, let's, let's do it that way. Who do we have here? Annie. Annie. Oh, I remember you, Annie. Annie, may you be blessed by two cool Everybody, I hear some speaking up out there. Which I think, okay. Let's all pray together. There's a, the prayer there and the prayers that are in, the ones that are at the first one that's in italics. Let's all pray it together. Oh God, who has made all the earth and every creature that dwells therein, help us, we pray, to treat with compassion the living creatures entrusted to our care that they may not suffer from our neglect, nor become the victims of cruelty, and grant that in caring for them, we may find a deeper understanding of your love for all creation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We give you thanks, most gracious God, for the beauty of the earth, the sky, and the sea, for the richness of mountains, plains, and rivers, for the songs of birds, and the loveliness of flowers. We praise you for these good gifts and pray that we may safeguard them for our posterity. Grant that we may continue to grow in our grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation to the honor and glory of your name now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now go forth in the love and the grace of God. Be kind to these animals. And animals, be kind to your people. 
provide for them in sickness and in health, share generously in the responsibility for those in the wild and for those threatened by extinction, care for the earth and all its resources, and do not forget to love your brothers and sisters. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thanks. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs>